A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. Are you all right reading it? Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. Do you know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. You take your instructions from me. What sort of help can a dead Divine give you? I don't kind of mean. Perhaps something to do with a Chantry. Or it could be personal. She guided me for many years, Inquisitor, as a Divine and as a friend. There are days when I still look to her for advice, only to remember that I am alone. Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry I would have never pronounced that as Valence. Years before she became the Divine. But it is where a the place fuck is that Valence? holds great meaning for her. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, then we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. No, she's leaving. Okay, she's here. Ah. What? I expected the hero of Ferelden to be at Adamant, but he was not with the other wardens. He studied the Blight after killing the Archdemon, and may know something that could help us. If you like, I can have agents look for him. That sounds like a wise choice. I'll make preparations in the war room. Now, was there anything else? <laughs> I guess I, that just an alter in case I killed Morrigan. Or didn't let, let her come in. I mean, this is a completely different thing if... Yeah. You, you had gone with Liliana as your romance option, she would just communicate mm. to him, and then you would have more yeah, of that dialogue with the her, the not Morgan. Um, after our time, Morgan would, like, Sharan, never mention I him. Why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. You miss court intrigue? When were you at court? Oh, well, never directly, of course. An elf and apostate is really involved. While well, he was a god watching from the other side, I bet. But from the fade, I have watched dynasties form and empires crumble. It is sometimes savage, sometimes noble, and always fascinating. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally, especially after helping her neutralize Briala. My sensing concern over how we dealt with Briala. No. Why would I disapprove of... Oh, because we're both elves. I'm sorry, I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Who do you have much in common with? Who are your people? A good question. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the elves of Orlais, Briala did what she could. She was an admirable woman, even if her gambit failed. Even if we couldn't help Briala, I hope we can make life better for Elysian Elves. Stop Corypheus. That will do for a start. It speaks well of you to feel for the oppressed. Help them for that. Know them for what... Instead of just seeing a pair of pointed ears. That was terribly explained, so I'm going to explain it for you. Okay. There was a ability, an option, where you could essentially have Selene and Briala reconcile their differences. And just like get together officially. Hmm, I see. That that was awfully explained. Okay. It's fucking, Jesus Christ. You made it sound like you killed her. You think so? Can tell that the kid's an old god. <laughs> Inquisitor, welcome to the Exalted Plains, a place with a long and bloody history. Was this Even the Even now, the region is volatile. This was a front in the Civil War. Now there's rebels called the Freemen of the Dales, recently emerged and adding to the chaos. What history were you talking about? After the fall of Halam Sharal, 
What remained of the Elven army met the forces of the Exalted March here. When offered a chance to lay down their arms and surrender, they refused. This rebel group, tell me more about them. They seem to be simple deserters, tired of fighting and dying for either the Empress or the Grand Duke. Now they want the Dales for their own. Worse, they're more organized than we anticipated. Be wary. What else can you tell me? Scouts have sighted Dalish elves. There must be a clan camped somewhere on the plains. The Dalish? That will be all. Thank they you. come from the Dales? With the rifts and the undead, the Orlesians have lost ground. Yeah, Most who have been thought? driven back what? to their forts. We have to stabilize the region, allowing the Imperial Army to reestablish its presence. Good luck, Your Worship. You'll need it. And my first enemy of the day is a Fremen. Hello, Fremen. Choo choo. Choo choo. Choo choo. Um, the Inquisitor. Lord, in fact. Keep off the ramparts. I wonder why. I'd say it's a perfect reason to go to the ramparts. That does sound like Varric. <laughs> Break the rules, don't mind if I do. How do I get up on the ramparts? That's not a... That's not what that is. It's Aqueduct, I know, but... <laughs> like, you don't mean that, do you? Holla! Murder them. I remember in the previous games, we saw all of like, what? Three holla in any given game. A rift! Distract them. They're level two. Oof. Never mind, don't distract. Just wholesale murder. It's a joke. Oh, okay, it's not level 11. <laughs> I think it was gonna be level 2. I don't know. I've done some things. The hardest enemies in this area should be level 16. Mm. I'm above that. Yeah. You're above a lot of what you're gonna see here. There's a singing that you never yeah, hear. Yeah, I never, I never, yeah. never hear it. Uh, yeah. Never hear that. Just start pointing it out more. Because that happens at almost every rift you do. <laughs> so in the one day you're like, oh, I've never heard it before. And then literally editing yesterday an entire conversation <laughs> we had about it before that point. There's a, like one thing when you're doing the Templar stuff mm -hmm. in the footage where I just took you killing my keyboard and I boosted it by 12 decibels yeah just to point it out and then it came up several more times but I realized all these other times I didn't even have to boost it I could just hear it it was it was loud enough it was like on volume with our voices by default just fucking just mashing that bitch yeah one time literally just <laughs> what a loading screen. It's like my brain mode. <laughs> a loading screen. And it's just out of nowhere. All the keys just tap, 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 tap. loud enough to activate the mic by itself. <laughs> by itself. Through the noise gate. I'm sorry I beat up your keyboard, Rez. I stopped doing it since then, okay? No, you haven't. Ah, oh, thank you for shitting out a loot box. It was terrible. Kill yourself. Random gold on the floor. That's littering. This place is gonna take a minute to explore. A lot of these places go. This the last one took you like six hours straight. Yes. Yeah.
hand. By the end of Hard in Heights, almost every character is revealed as a spy or a traitor. Wait, you read my book? It was in the Inquisition Library. Everyone but Donnan turned out to be in disguise. Is that common? Are we still talking about books, or are you asking if everyone I know is a secret agent? Are there many tricksters in dwarven literature? A handful, but they're the exception. Mostly they're just honoring the ancestors. It's very dull stuff. Human literature. Now there's where you'll find the tricky, clever, really deceitful types. Curious. No, not really. Dwarves write how they want things to be. Humans write to figure out how things are. They touch hollow leather. How does that work? Well, we just had a really intense dream. Dude. And then the fade popped out like that. Like that right here? Yeah. These guys are pretty well armored. Ho ho ho. Aww. I mean, everything outside's level 11. What do you expect? <laughs> Good shit? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Would have been good if you came here a long time ago. <laughs> hey, I came here at the appropriate time after doing the appropriate amount of stuff I wanted to do. Okay? Which happened to be being a loot goblin and grabbing everything and seeing everything before moving on. But that's perfectly fine. Goodbye. Tread like this is sacred ground. Sacred ground, filled with demons. Hmm, I don't think this demon likes me blowing up this grave. It's not even his grave. I know, right? What happened? Did a dead mage sell their soul? Or is it a tarp set by elves to deter looters? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that supposed to happen? I don't know. It's a wolf! Oh no! Are you getting angry? I'm desecrating a graveyard in your name, my dude? I'll be honest, I don't think he gives a shit. In terms of Dreadwolf thinking as a god, he's like, I don't really care that anyone thinks I'm a god. It's great for them. Anyway. I'm gonna go abandon my brothers and sisters because they're assholes. You know. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking back to see if there's any foreshadowing of uh, Solus being the Dreadwolf. And like, there's barely nothing. Or barely anything, you know? Like, there's a couple of like, well, what do you think about these? <laughs> well, I don't know too much about it, but um, here's my opinion on it. You know? But no, no, nothing like super subtle, like, he has moments where he gives you answers to things that are honest, just worded vaguely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and when you know he's the Dread Wolf, the meaning of the sentence entirely changes from what you as the player just naturally assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The there's, there's some of that, but I mean, like, that only happens after you know he's the Dread Wolf. At that point, that's less foreshadowing and it's more like. Uh, you wouldn't know by this point. Right, exactly. What I'm getting at is there's no moments. Where a person who doesn't know he's a dread wolf would tease the fact that he was the dread wolf. So mm -hmm. All you could really know so far is that he's suspicious. And knowledgeable. 
Uh, he, he knows a lot about things. You'd have more clues if you were an elf. Because he talked to you more? Yeah, he instead of him just saying, Oh, it's Elvin. Oh, it's Elvin. Oh, it's Elvin. Hey, you know the he'd thing? He'd be way more specific about describing things. Well, at least it seems he respects the Inquisitor. Hmm? It seems he respects Do you have any advice the Inquisitor. Demons, oh, you have no idea yet. The first <laughs> heartbeat, and you have already won. So I should this try is one of the... Die. This is the area of things that I just I haven't mean, mentioned, because you'll really see it. Intelligent enough to change their <laughs> this whole time he's been following you, he thinks you're a fucking retard. Himself, you will see the full range of their abilities within the first 30 heartbeats. By then, you should be able to find a weakness and exploit it. Ah, that is helpful. <laughs> I will try to remember that. <laughs> Was that also, sarcasm? Not to die. Uh, what I will say is, he hasn't fully... He hasn't truthfully explained why he's here. Of course. With his story, what he told you was, oh yeah, you know, I just want to save the world. That I was just with the Inquisition, and then, uh, you know, I was thinking of leaving, uh, and then you happened, and then I saw you and put your hand to the, the rift thing, and that's it. And yeah. so I was like, shit, dude, I guess we can do this, I'll stay. He, there's like something very critical he left out of that explanation, yeah. which he does tell you. In the DLC. Okay. Hello. They went home. You can use some housekeeping. You have any lemon pledge? This place looks fancy. I bet some like artist owns this place. Hey, can you do this commission for me? I'll pay you an exposure. Hmm, this feels like a fucking boss trap room. It's gonna be safe going all the way here and on the way out it's gonna be a fucking bloodbath. Yeah, yeah, you can explode out of the fucking crypts, and then... No. You're not funny! I knew it was coming! It's also really dark, and I can't really appreciate your look like. This is one of those things where it's like, the only reason you're having this is because you played enough video games. <laughs> someone's like, wow, that's so unique. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. There's definitely someone that would watch you having this experience, which is very relatable to me, uh, that would see you and be like, wow, you complain a lot. I've never had this problem you're having. Maybe you should stop being so critical and just play the game. Why are you even playing it if you don't like it? Literally said nothing about disliking it or anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you just go play a game you like instead of hating on games that I like? <laughs> don't even know who you are. Who Didn't are? even say I hated it. How'd you get my house? I remember when you guys were scary. You can still be scary, just turn up the difficulty. Oh, no, I'm good. You come here at the appropriate level. Oh, no, I'm good. No, I'm good, I'm good. Instead of, like, six levels over leveled. No, shh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm good. Woo! The area is explored. Get back here. Hello, little hidden away area. You got some cool stuff. Nothing. Just a dead dude and a big fish. Is that fish eating his head? Looks like it. Alright. So, homie's on his boat fishing, right? He's out there. And then, all of a sudden, this fucking monster bites him on his head. And he rows back home with a fish on his head blindly and then gets a knife and fails at cutting the fish open and stabs himself in the face and dies. That's the only order event that makes sense. Imagine seeing a dude run faster than a hull and full plate armor. Killed a golden hollow over there. A what hollow? A golden hollow. What's a golden hollow? <laughs> he did one damage to me. Yeah, you're pretty, uh, <laughs> beyond this section of this area.
I found a Dalish encampment. Hello, Keeper. These are not good times to come unbidden before the people, especially here, where we remember the destruction of our home at the hands of humans. My patience is thin with all that has befallen. Got up with me. You should be on your way. What has befallen your clan? The Orlesian War has hindered our progress through the dirt. The armies cause rock slides. The dig ditches that trip the Hala and destroy the Arabos. Making passage impossible. Precisely when the clan needs him most. My first, Tavin, defies my wishes and mounts an excursion to the Emerald Graves. And now, I've learned that the grounds of Bar Balanaris are infested by angry spirits from the beyond. I've already cleared your sacred burial site of demons. Oops. Yes, but our hunters watched you from afar. And they know you defiled our graves. Oops. And that you stole a relic. And with it, broke open the vault at Unadin. Oops. But I shouldn't expect an outsider to understand. The demons are gone. And we should be thankful. A small token of our gratitude then. Why do elves call this plain the dearth? When the people settled here, we called it Dearth of Erin. The promise. For the Dales were promised to us by Andraste. It is still the dearth to us. Even if the Shemlin give it a name that recalls our destruction. Another time. You will always be welcome here. That's a lie. Mathalan asked Valorin, where are you? Who's Valorin? My brother. He's been sullen for a while because the Keeper chose another as his apprentice. He thinks it's a slight, but it isn't. He just Why is she Orish? Keeper Howen wants him to wait. Then he took off three nights ago on his own. I don't know what he was thinking. The Keeper sent hunters to search, but they never found a trace. Mathal's mercy. If anything's happened... Hey, that's your wife. <sighs> Greetings, stranger. Do you have anything to trade? The Keeper has forbidden trade with strangers. Be you seem fascinated with our camp. Are you a merchant of some sort? I am Taniel, the clan's craftsman. Leather, iron bark. These are my specialities. Ask my However, dad. Keeper Howen has forbidden trade. You are the one they called the Herald of Andraste. I've heard so much about you and your Inquisition. Why are they all Irish? There's talk, even amongst the Dalish. Ah, talk. What do they say exactly? Well, the clans are worried about what this might mean for us. The Dalish, that is. No matter what they say, your Inquisition is the only thing trying to help the world. I wish I could be a part of that. Good lad. The world doesn't change without people to change it. It won't happen. Keeper Howen won't allow it. <sighs> he doesn't trust anything to do with the Chantry or Andraste. I could try to convince your Keeper. You could try. I'll take my leave. Did you see the look on those nobles' faces back at the Winter Palace, Chuckles? They seemed unaccustomed to seeing elves without servants' livery, or dwarves at all. <laughs> Priceless. That's oh, definitely going in my next story. Are you planning a chapter filled with did, courtly intrigue? Res, did a dwarf well, just say that's I going in the fucking book? The face someone makes when they choke down something <laughs> You'd be great if, like, in the far-flung future in this universe, someone reads uh, his books as if they were actual accounts, and they're like, well, here's a grievance against the, the dwarves right here. It's in the book. If I may share something else with you. There are strange glyphs inscribed in the stones of this place, revealed only with field fire, although they are elven in origin. Like he says they, they are American, everyone is Irish. Perhaps they will he has an accent. Here. The same as everyone else. It doesn't sound the same. I don't even, they're not even supposed to sound Irish, they're supposed to sound Welsh. They speak exactly like Merrill, and Merrill sounds Welsh. He speaks just like Mero. One down. Bass, I love bass. Naked elves. Oh, naked elves, where are you? Oh no, it's a tarp. Rez, they lured me with naked women. Pepsi does that. It works too. Yeah, it works for Pepsi too. <laughs> hey, I'm 
attacking you. Don't mind me, ignore me, go away. on the side of Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, rightful oh, that guy. of Olay. Um, sorry, um, <laughs> bad news, dude. Um, he's been ousted. What do you mean it's over? But we need to alert the Marshal, but no one's been able to get into Fort Reverson for weeks. What's happened here? We were trying to retake the ramparts from the dead. They rise here, somewhere within these trenches. It started when those free men showed up. Strange lights, like blue fire. For someone that's been be magic, out fighting for weeks, unable to return to base, he looks How could they have managed this? And why? very hygienic. Mm -hmm. His hair looks freshly showered. He looks like he shaved this morning. Like This guy looks like he's been able to take perfect care of himself despite living basically in the woods. Typical or lesion for you. What? Not a base during the war time? What is the point of war? If you can't be good at it, it is travesty. <laughs> Sucks to be that guy. You think he shaved? Maybe a little too much. I don't see any skin remaining. <laughs> Excuse you, I killed you both. You guys gonna keep coming back or what? <laughs> <laughs> 